Ah, yes, our favorite family channel, the Ace Family. Did you all know that they got what they deserve? What does that mean exactly? Well, stick around to find out. The Ace Family deserve their failure. Do they actually, did they fail? This, I can't tell them apart. There's like 500 family channels. The Ace Family, the Prince Family, the King Family, the Queen Family, the Royal Family, the ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. ah. And there's also a bunch of channels too that just, <laughs> they prank their kids and stuff and they are absolutely ruining their lives. I'm sorry, but I enjoy every moment of my life. Their big Ace Family home that they're always flexing is being foreclosed on. They will soon no longer have their house, which is really- This guy right here, I like this guy. I wish I looked like this guy right here. Let's see, do I have any of his books? I have that book and that one as well. We're at about 12 lawsuits right now. Bro, wait, what? 12 f***ing lawsuits? They have had 12 lawsuits? That is a lot of lawsuits. How do you even have that many? I've never even had one, I feel like. Austin, what? Austin? So, the Ace Family, that's Austin McBroom. They've been boxing, right? Austin McBroom is the guy from the Ace Family, right guys? In chat? Am I right? Yeah. I, I really don't know or care, but uh, it seems like it's the same guy, maybe. So, people hate him. Beverly Hills, the whole, the, the, the city? He's getting sued by the so. city? The hat, the hat, so he's getting sued by a hat. I found it really odd that they had two loans on the property, totally nearly $10 million. The Ace family's $10 shit. million dollar house with a $10 million mortgage on it Bruh. is going into foreclosure. They're being sued for over $130 million for shady and failed business practices, all while their viewership on YouTube has declined from 200 million per month that in is like a 2018 lot. to only 10 million per month recently. That is a substantial deal. Decline. Oh, they did lie about the robbery. That's what was in my video. I made a video like a year ago or something like that. I don't remember. I don't like them at all. And whenever I don't like them and I, I just move on, I, I just block it from my memory. They did fake that f robbery too, and they got like fake police officers. A religious person would say fall. that the Ace family are currently paying for their sins. Yeah, They're steadily the coming to real. terms with the fact that they cannot outrun the bad decisions how much from their crying. own past, made at a time when everything was going swimmingly, and failure seemed like yes. an impossibility. However, yes. despite previously sitting in a totally unshakable, bulletproof position, there was always controversy. They're kind of like the Amy Schumer of family channels, if you really think about it. This image of being a happy, high-status family with absolutely yeah. zero internal problems became increasingly paramount as time progressed. See, that's kind of what I'm doing with my channel. I'm like a picture perfect, you know, I'm like a tall guy, big wiener, you know, huge wiener. Got a cute dog and my house, it's pretty cool. Yeah, so I'm kind of like the, I don't know, the Greg. I'm like the Greg of YouTube, kind of. And they're like the Amy Schumer of YouTube. Real, when you really kind of, you know, when you really kind of distill it down into the truth. The naive amongst their audience who believed their problem-free facade saw them as what you might call family goals. And as a goals. result, their channel grew insanely fast, blasting past a million subscribers less than Jesus. a year after creating their channel, which was met with an over-the-top cringy cliche video celebrating the milestone. Here goes, here goes, here goes. Yes. I used to love these. Look, it's the baby Grinch. I think almost all babies look like the baby Grinch. You know the, the, the baby Grinch thing? I'm the most laid back, chill, drama free, overly calculated person you'll ever meet. If you don't like it, F off. If someone tries Holy to convince shit. you that their personality is this or that, it's probably best to assume the opposite. Because if they really were that thing, a they shame. wouldn't need to tell you. I'm a really relaxed, calm, happy, content guy who's not a furry. I'm not a furry. Those who look like they have the best lives, the best families, the best holidays, etc. Like I just had one photo shoot and then just milked it for like f three weeks. <laughs> the happy, rich, problem-free life that you see on Instagram does not exist. It's a facade usually put up by miserable people looking to mask their own uninteresting personalities. To be honest though, I would rather live that life, even if it's completely fake, than work in a coal mine in, in Kentucky or West Virginia you know, and have to worry about how, worry about inflation and gas prices and things like that. I'd rather be the Amy Schumer of family channels than the Amy Schumer of the West Virginia coal mines. There was no rock solid evidence yet. They were excellent at covering their trail. However, after moving into an LA mansion Geniuses. only 1.5 years after starting YouTube. Ta -da! Ta -da! The family. They began to it's get a, exposed uh, on the main screen. It's when banana introducing colored. the property, they framed the whole scenario as if he and Catherine it's had banana purchased colored. the home. I've always wanted my own home, and I've never had one. Catherine's never had one. And the fact it's that your we're first able house? to have one together as a family is a blessing. Yes. 
it's quite a blessing. And to have a home like this to raise Elle and have a backyard to start, and be able to obviously work you know? from home is such a blessing. However, people became somewhat suspicious when in a vlog, Catherine's brother mentioned that they should talk to the owner of the property after noticing a problem Ooh. with the house. Bro, I would call the owner and ask him about the history of his house. Baby, tell me about that drawer. Mm -hmm. Call about the history of his house. <laughs> so they, he doesn't know, he just is renting it, I guess. He's just running the house. Just buy a buy a smaller one. Buy a smaller one so you can actually own it, you know? Build some equity up. I have a bunch of friends who bought houses when they were like 20, 21 years old and made 20 bucks an hour. Not insane pay. You know, that's a lot of money, but you don't need to be a millionaire to buy a house. It's pretty easy to buy a house, honestly. They, they really do a lot to help you. Maybe not now with the interest rates and everything, but you can get an FHA loan, save a little money for a down payment, as long as you don't want to be like house broke, I guess. It also depends where you live as well, to be fair. I live in fucking bum fuck nowhere where this happened. If you just move out of the city and, and then you'll have a house, it's really easy. But you probably won't have a job. Sorry. But instead of just buying a nice home in LA, they have to spend $17,000 each month just what to live in this freaking mansion in the Woodland Hills. Yes. $17,000 a month? After only 10 months of living there, they would upload a video titled Someone Broke Into Our House, stating that while out at Disneyland, that they had been sad. robbed. We've been at Disney all day and someone broke into our house, as oh, you can no. see. This would, Come however, on. turn out to be another event that many considered to be a fake stuff. That's so stupid. $17,000 a month on a house, bro? Imagine if you just invested that into rare shrimp or priceless tropical fish. And on the ground floor. I'm so confused. They didn't take the wallet. They didn't take this stuff. Including vlogging cameras, which were integral to their YouTube channel. Instead, going upstairs to look through the walk-in robes where the shoes and clothes were kept. In Pyro Cynical's video on the topic, See he noted boy. that the Ace family had installed numerous cameras around the house. We do have cameras. Yes, Everywhere, people. Guys. Yes, people. Don't try to do no funny stuff. Which were so apparently definitely completely tell. useless as the robbers only had small flashlights. We obviously- 69,000 viewers? Bro. Who's watching this stuff? How do they get 200 million views a month? I didn't, have never even seen any of these people ever. 69,000 viewers on Instagram? It's like some shit from a TV show. Like The Boys or something like that, where there's like got a million viewers. Who are these people? Is it just kids? It's just children. Okay. With suspicions like raised, that. viewers would look into the possibility that it had been faked, and would discover that one of the police officers in the video looked very similar to a fake hireable police officer from a company called Top uh, Cop Shop LA. That guy looks young. The other one looks old. Emailing Top Cop Shop LA, requesting that they provide an invoice for the hire of fake police, at which point they would receive a receipt made Ooh. out to Austin McBroom for the hire of five oh police God. cars and six fake police officers. <laughs> That's fucking awesome, dude. Just absolutely annihilated. Compl just caught in a lie. Hardcore. Austin would respond by stating that the Top Cop Shop oh. receipt had been faked. People made up a receipt that we paid acting actor cops. They just typed it out, made it up, and the fact that it was just typed up. <laughs> well, should I believe him? He fucking just said it wasn't true. <laughs> God. I mean, it's true. Haters do hate. There's professional haters out there, and most of them are over the age of 12. Most of them are over the age of 12, to be honest with you. Truly, like, and I, I see they're not in his, they're not part of their audit. Yeah. That makes sense. It's it's all coming together. I believe him. The Ace family would move to a new property and things seemed to go back to normal. However, the Ace family's housing problems were far from over. Only a few short months later, Austin explained that while filming a video with FaZe Rug, he would notice- Rug? FaZe Rug's my favorite content creator ever. I love all his good quality videos that he makes. And for content, they would go and film some videos inside them after getting permission from the builder. All right, guys, so these are the two houses that are almost done being built. Okay, I think they're gonna dope. be done in like three months and they're gonna be up for sale. After going back to look at the property that's once dope. again at a later date, Austin came up with that's a dope, crazy sicky. idea. And I was like, let me go and ask him just to see what he would say if I decided to just combine both of the houses. They plan on purchasing Genius. both houses and combining them together to create one mega mansion, which they knew would fit perfectly with the Ace family's luxurious branding. That is so fucking dumb. <laughs> just get, let me buy two houses and then just combine them, brother. What about structural integrity? How are you supposed to even do that? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, they're two different colors. Our old house is just, it's banana colored 
It got broken into, it's no good anymore. The problem was that both homes had already been completed internally, meaning they'd have to gut the inside of the houses, knock out walls, connect the whole Very thing up, efficient. add a new driveway, etc, etc. So the project was going to cost substantially more than Why if they would have bought each it? house separately. Why like, not build a way new more. When looking at a basic real estate map for sold property surrounding the two houses they wanted to combine together, pretty much every single sale price is under 1.5 million. These Let's give them the benefit meds. of the doubt and say that each property was worth 3 million on their own. Take your considering each house awesome. was brand new and on top of a hill with a view, which would total $6 million for the two houses. Well, after all was said and done, <laughs> the Ace family paid $10,064,230 for the two houses as a- it, With inflation and the, the way the property is now, that'd be like $100 million that they would have paid on that shit. That is so stupid. They're as dumb as, as someone who's fucking is dumb, dude. Like, not only had they paid a premium of approximately $4 million to have the houses combined, but they also paid that's so $10 stupid. million dollars for a property in an area where very few had sold for more than $2 million. That's However, so just in case the purchase wasn't stupid enough already, it was then revealed that they had financed the entire $10 million from two different hard money lenders. At the end of July 2019, wow, that's the McGrooms took out a hard money loan of $8.85 .8 million from Five Arch Funding Corp and another $1 million loan from TMK development LLC, who I'm assuming is also a hard money lender. Hard money loans are expensive loans used by house flippers that almost always have a one year payback term. They're considered oh expensive because the borrower typically pays multiple points at closing and an interest rate of 10 to 12% on an interest only loan. The amount owed is about $9.5 million. At 12% interest, the loan is $95,000 per month interest only. Oh my Add on property God. taxes, which for that property are exactly $10,000 a month. Oh Insurance my and God, maintenance dude. gives you a total monthly cost of well over $110,000 every single month. You just got annihilated by the most suave man I've ever seen in my life. This dude's wearing a pink button up and he's got a buzz cut. And I'm not sure if I've fallen in love with him or if I just have something I just have to poop or something like that. There's something going on now. Per month seems pretty damn expensive. That's a lot of money. We can assume that the McBrooms were making well over a million per month at this point. So to them, 110K per month with their income at the time seemed somewhat reasonable. <laughs> the key easy. word, however, is at the time. Social right. media stars like sports stars, as Cornelius outlined excellently in his video, have some of the most fragile careers imaginable, especially for those like the Ace family, where all they're really bringing to the table is look at how much money I have or True. look at our amazing family, which people kept bored of pretty damn quickly. Be unique or be forgotten, a genius man once said, and these people are not unique. You are not unique when all you have is money. You are not unique when all you have is things. You are not unique when all you have is number. All right? Bust down in a video, Austin. Bust down. Dress up that baby that you got, like the baby Grinch or something like that. Do something funny. Do something unique. Don't be an NPC or else no one will care. Family had announced that their house was finally finished. Everything started to go Look at this big door downhill. we got. Show us your bussy, Austin. After moving That'll into their unique. new $10 million mansion, it seemed as though they stopped paying for an unfinished $7,000 a month lease at their previous rental property. Just and as a result, they it. would be sued by their landlord Just for $65,000. Stop paying for it. This would accompany what would be a total of 12 different lawsuits oh shortly God. after moving into their extravagant house, each incredible. of which totaling various different amounts, some being as much as $100 million. This $100 million lawsuit came about after Austin hosted a boxing event by That's the name of Social Gloves. The concept was pretty simple. Lawsuit, a bunch of different YouTubers dollars. would fight a bunch of different TikTokers and then market it as YouTube versus TikTok boxing. I will be fighting Austin McBall. Look, that, that's him right there. The event nice. would make money through pay per view, a method proven successful by the likes of Logan and Jake Paul. However, Austin yeah. McBroom. By the way, a lot of people hate Logan and Jake Paul, but those dudes are f***ing hustlers. Legitimately, not just like, we work really hard and I put my. I film my son and I fake stuff all day long. Those dudes are actually like putting in work, especially Logan Paul. He's done a really good job, I feel like, of, of improving his image and just kind of being a seemingly all around improved good dude. He estimated that the boxing match would earn a total of between 200 and 500 million dollars. However, on the day of the anticipated event, it would sell only 136,000 pay-per-view subscriptions, okay. which at between it's $50 still a lot. and $90 each, totaled an absolute maximum of $12 million. So that's not that much those money. Those supporting the event failed to receive payment for their participation Ooh. and began to file subsequent lawsuits, one after that the other sucks, against Austin dude. McBroom. None of the fighters so have been bad paid. For him. 
Nobody's been paid. Nobody knows what's going on. Apparently, they were planning on selling 500,000 subscriptions. They only sold 100,000. They've made nowhere near enough money. A company by the name of Live X Live, hired that by stinks. McBroom to help promote and run the event, would state that the McBrooms and their entire approach to this event was built upon a stack of lies. A big heap and stack of lies. To add another two cherries on top of the cake, Catherine two was then sued for $30 million for dodgy business practices relating to her makeup line, all while the Ace Family's <laughs> YouTube channel has been declining. In Dude, what the f***? Do they just like, can you just not scam people? Is it that hard to just not f***ing scam people? Do they have to? If you're a YouTuber, you have to be an egomaniac. You have to f***ing scam people. You have to fake everything. You have to mistreat all the people that work for you. Jesus Christ! Their $10 million home was going into foreclosure for failure to pay the mortgage. When asked about the foreclosure, wow. Catherine would state that it wasn't true. Oh, okay, Catherine, there's a lot of rumors that uh, your house is getting foreclosed. What do you have to say about that? It's not true. It's not true? It's not true. Yeah, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. It's a While goddamn Austin lie. A post on Instagram it's statement. a goddamn lie. Documents confirmed that the property was, in fact, going into foreclosure. So when Catherine is out and about saying that, or, you know, her home isn't foreclosed, when asked, this I like this fellow, by the way. This guy's that, yes, spunky. The home was foreclosed. It's this fellow is spunky. By the bank, and Catherine can lie all she wants. He flooded some family's yard doing that. <laughs> Of course he did! A YouTuber by the name of Static John would even attend the foreclosure auction. However, the property failed to sell for the $9 million price tag and has since been purchased by another party for substantially less than the original asking so, price, according to- so, so there was an auction that the house did get foreclosed on and she still just lied right to that poor paparazzi's face. That's awesome, dude. I love that. I know the guy who bought it. Yeah, it was just weird coincidence. I was with him last night and he was like, he said, we bought a problematic house. And I was like, what house? He's like, I don't know, some YouTuber did some boxing thing and i was like awesome mcbroom and he was like yeah yeah crazy they got taken wow, for a ride insane. when they built it spent way too much money on it and now it's in this area that the other like the next most expensive house is two and a half million dollars so no one wants to buy this ten That's million so dollar house. stupid right so it's not worth anything close to that so they picked it up like for cheap from the loan company and i guess they're gonna try and there's something that's just universally satisfying about seeing the Ace Family's empire crumble. Yeah, I really do like it. I do. I do enjoy this. I'm glad that they've failed miserably. And this is a year old, so we could even look at their channel, see how they're doing after this. The Ace Family's need to maintain a public image as a happy, problem-free family was the basis for all their success, but was simultaneously the reason for their catastrophic fall. Right. Cool. Well, that's fucking badass, dude. Let's look up Ace Family. We'll see how they're doing now. They've lost subs. They had 19 million. They have 18 million now. Okay, 700K. That's not bad. They're still doing all right. All right. He cheats on his wife a lot. You think he cheats on his wife, Devin? <laughs> do, you have, do you have proof of that? Do you have proof of him cheating on his wife a lot? Because that's, that's pretty... Uh, I hope that's not true. 11 million views. Okay, so they, it's just gotten worse. They're still killing it, though. They're still killing it with views. I mean, a million views. They just need to post more.